Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Valentine Lister and this is my series on the Minor Arcana for the Suit of Swords. And today we're gonna cover the Three of Swords and we're gonna get into the secret symbolism, the major arcana rulers of this card, which ties into the astrology, which helps you understand the card. Um, we're gonna get into the uprights and the reverse meanings and anything you need to know. But before I get into it, I just wanted to let you know about a discount that I'm offering um, for a readings with me. Um, so right now I'm offering $20 off your very first reading by using the code 20 bucks. And this code is valid until December 31st, 2021. Um, and to use that and to book, you can go to my website, valentinelister.com. I'll also put the info in the description box below so you can get it there. Um, and what I offer, I offer a tarot card reading, I offer an astrology birth chart reading, and I also also offer a combination of the two and it's a live zoom session one-on-one -on -one between the two of us um, and so again if you're interested in that there's a link in the description box below all right so let's get into the three of swords okay so the three of swords so it came up with a little nickname for this card to introduce you to it and i like to call this card devastating news all right so i'm going to get right into the rulers of the card which ties strongly into the astrology of the cards and um it is ruled by saturn in libra so saturn is represented and connected to the world card and libra is connected to the justice card and um, if you're new to this, you can think about it as the god or goddess of one card is playing dress up and is wearing the zodiac sign costume and playing a character of Libra. And so like the major arcana, right? So if we have, right, we have Saturn and Libra, the world and justice. Um, how is that going to show up in our everyday life? We're not looking around and seeing gods and goddesses walk around. It's going to show up in a very ordinary way. Um, and so it shows up looking like the three of swords. The minor arcana is all about our everyday experiences and how, right, these rulers, like this energy, um, Saturn and Libra, show up in real life, the three of swords. Um, and so also I just want to let my, like my astrologer, People know that this Three of Swords represents the second decan of Libra. Now, if you want to remember all that and you're writing notes furiously in these videos and you're like, my hand's getting tired, well, make sure to get my Tarot and Astrology Cheat Sheet where I wrote everything down for you. Like, stop writing, okay? Um, or if you haven't gotten it yet, you want like this quick, easy reference guide that's very organized. Um, I'm putting that link down in the description box below where you can get it and you can get that as a thank you for signing up for my mailing list okay so we're going to focus on this middle card here but i think i'm going to keep these cards here because i'd like to see how these rulers show up in the card now um the symbols are not like it's not as easy to see how the world and justice show up in the three of swords like with the symbols so you kind of have to read into it and know a little bit more meaning um so i happen to know a lot about saturn and libra i have this placement natally um so saturn and libra is considered exalted to the type of astrology i practice um and so what that means is that Saturn is going to experience, Saturn is going to experience good fortune in Libra. Um, so the only problem, right, it sounds really good. It's good placement for Saturn. The problem is that Saturn is con considered a malefic planet. Um, doesn't seem so here. The world card seems like all, all well and good, right? Um, but Saturn itself is, cre is considered a malefic planet, and you can understand that if you're familiar with a Saturn return, have experienced it or heard about it, right? Tough time where we have to grow up. So um, it's probably easier to think of, uh, so a malefic planet is considered life-taking. It takes away life. So like Mars and Saturn are malefic planets, they take away life, where like Jupiter and Venus, they give life. So it's more appropriate to think about like that malefic energy versus like like it, it's evil and it's bad, right? It's not like that, okay? It's more appropriate to think of this um, as like malefic energy as a cycle in nature. So part of nature and like if you have a garden you're taking care of, like growing anything, growing vegetables, like, you know, keeping your yard ni nice, right? You need 
the malefic energy, right? Um, so, because restriction and cutting life down is necessary for maintaining life. So like pruning the trees, cutting the hedges back, killing bugs, um, and even like thinking of your body, like removing a tumor, cutting your hair, right? Um, but subjectively, some of these things um, can feel unpleasant, dark, scary, or painful. So a good Saturn placement doesn't mean you're running around clicking your heels, okay? <laughs> um, You've gone through some serious difficulties, seriously, but those difficulties and those um, subjectively like painful experiences in life have taught you um, to deal with life. And so a Saturn in Libra has the discipline to restrict themselves when needed in life. So Saturn in Libra can, can restrict itself, meaning like, like in a person, how it would show up. Um, it would be like not spending too much money or eating too much or drinking too much alcohol, no matter how bad you feel. Um, but Saturn and Libra can also have this energy of being way too hard on the self, on itself, holding itself up to standards that are just impossible for humans to meet. Um, however, what it can do, a good Saturn placement can translate to a good leader, one who's dependable, loyal, steady, and trustworthy, right? So this card is not just about heartbreak, right? A lot of people think that. It's not. It's really not, right? Um, with Saturn in Libra, we have justice. So Saturn in Libra is associated with justice and fairness. So getting into the Saturn and Libra, the, the Three of Swords card, it's not pretty, but there is more than meets the eye with this card. It goes deeper than the initial appearance. So going into the actual like symbols, like the picture, I see like these three swords in the heart and it makes me think that we have to keep our heart within a boundary or keep it together, like, like with thoughts and ideas, right? Um, with concepts with things that we're thinking because we have the swords but the swords is kind of like kept in a circle it almost think it's it's kept constricted in some way and so it reminds me of this ouroboros um from the saturn card where like life on earth like the world's has restrictions placed on us by divine forces for a higher purpose a lot of times we think that like people restrict us um, or institutions restrict us but there and and you know that can be true i'm not saying that's not true but um, even if you took those things away, life itself provides restrictions, right? Um, just being placed in a body, being placed in a world, um, like for, we have to eat food to live, can't take that restriction away, right? Um, we have very real things that are just nature and survival that restrict us in life. You know, if you go out into the woods um, and you're just with the forces of nature, you're going to find restriction, even if you're all by yourself, that's life. That's the world. So Saturn knows how to live within these restrictions. Saturn's like, I'm living, this is life. I'm living in it. Saturn's like, good, good. I'm feeling good. This is, you know, this is it. Um, but Saturn knows how to live within those restrictions and really thrive. So somewhere along the way in life, right? Saturn is hit hard by the knocks of life. And like, so Saturn is like um, these rain clouds. It brings me to these rain clouds. These are like the hard knocks of life. And so these gray clouds in the background, they represent wisdom and they represent wisdom through painful times. And now with Libra coming in, um, you know, going to Libra and, and seeing these swords, we see these swords are piercing the heart, but they're piercing it with balance, right? And they're piercing it through emotions and through these difficulties, helping us to see clearly of what needs to be done in difficult situations beyond our emotions so that life can be pleasant and fair. So justice, right, is Libra. Libra is Venus after all. It's the masculine form of Venus. Um, so the Three of Swords is about restricting the heart and living within boundaries in a way that makes life beautiful, right? That's not what you're thinking when you first see the card, but let me explain. So with Saturn and Libra, Saturn's like, well, someone's got to keep it together and take care of things, right? If everything falls apart, um, I'm just focusing on this card, right? Someone's got to keep it together. If everyone falls apart in a situation, there ends up being like total chaos. 
um, things get out of control. So Saturn in Libra keeps it together and tries to see clearly to be solid for others, like Libra being a social sign and thinking of others and thinking of society. So good example is just like an ER doctor, like an emergency room doctor, EMT, paramedic, like a counselor, like psychologist, right? They need to keep their feelings in check and calm for you so that you can calm down and feel better. They are putting their feelings aside, right? These are people who really feel for others and um, do have a heart for you and like want to help you and feel a lot of empathy. But you meet them, they're gonna be, right, in an emergency, they're gonna be cool as a cucumber um, because with this big red heart, like they they know, right, the best thing that they can do for you to care for you is that if they can keep their emotions in check, they can help you calm down and stay calm in an emergency um and so saturn and libra these swords have blue on them which represent compassion serenity and mental clarity and so it's providing it to others um which is what the blue in the swords represents and like there's real love um and it, even though it seems harsh in restricting how you feel and it's not just it's it is to create beauty in life and to create fairness, right? All right, so I'm gonna get into the numerology of the card. This card is associated with the number three. Um, and three represents things taking form and manifesting in the early stages. So we start to see the big picture. Um, it represents openness, expansion, cheerfulness, optimism, joy, self-expression, communication, and clarity. Okay, so the upright meaning it can mean that you're facing a really harsh reality of life and it could be related because it's Libra, remember justice, um, it could be related to a legal matter, contract or relationship. And so it signifies a difficult or serious ending. So it could be something really, really heartbreaking, um, but it could also be something that's just like a business matter that is not fun or pleasant to deal with. So. Um, if you are experiencing heartbreak, remember that one day you'll move past it. And the sentiment like around me, right? Um, April showers bring May flowers. It's a saying um, that we say in the spring around me. And so what that means is one day you'll be able to move past this and it will actually help you have empathy for others and it will help you be strong for someone else. So this situation will bring beauty for you in the future. Um, and being able to see that can give you a glimmer of hope um, and help you remember that the gift in painful or difficult situations is that after you go through them, you'll have wisdom from that experience and you'll be able to make decisions from that experience um, if you really stay with it and connect with your heart. So the reversed meaning of this card. So this energy is being blocked or avoided. So you know that a relationship needs to end or a contract or legal matter needs to be finalized, but it keeps getting drawn out due to miscommunication or like a lack of communication. Um, so take time to reflect on this situation um, and any patterns that you might see going on. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the Three of Swords. If you like this video, it's just a reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for when I release my next video. And my next video will be on the Four of Swords. And I also do a weekly astrology and tarot forecast every Sunday. Also, if you wanna catch up on the videos that I've already done for the Minor Arcana, I've covered the Wands, I've covered the Cups, I'm going through the Swords right now, um, you can, um, catch them in my minor arcana playlist right here as well as I'll leave a related video I think you like up here so you can check those out all right love you guys so much take care bye if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for whenever I release a new video every single week